Good evening. Please join me for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now, please welcome Malia McClellan for the singing of our national anthem. Service is an important component of being a member of TRI-M. Here are some of the ways in which our TRI-M members have engaged in community service locally. TRI-M members have participated in assisting district-wide music teachers in daytime and evening activities, including at times participating in tutorial for younger musicians in the district. They've also participated in area churches, houses of worship, and nursing homes, including the Wartburg Nursing Home. TRIAM members have engaged in performing publicly for events coordinated by the Salvation Army, by the Pelham Civics, and have even participated in the Larchmont Library's flute demonstrations. Thank you, TRIAM members, for your service within and beyond our physical building. Welcome to our 12th annual TRIAM Music Honor Society induction ceremony. Thank you, Juliana and Malia, for performing the processional and our national anthem. I'd like to acknowledge my colleagues, Maria Aveshaus and Andrew Van Buckhoff for their steadfast support of our students and TRIAM. Tonight, we officially induct qualified new and continuing students into the chapter of TRIAM. Before we begin, I'd like to introduce our executive committee. Ann Liu, President, Oliver Tam, Vice President, Audrey Levinson, Treasurer, Malia McClellan, Secretary Historian. I turn this ceremony over to Oliver. You may be wondering about the history behind Triumph. During the Great Depression, businesses closed and people lost their homes. The future of public education looked grim. In 1930, in a suburb of Chicago, a high school music teacher named Alexander Harley was urged by his principal to turn the high school into a music center. Mr. Harley did this by forming instrumental and vocal ensembles that performed in the community to boost morale. As the depression deepened, townspeople clamored to close the school for several years to save taxes, but it was Alex Harley's free concerts that publicized the value of music education and they kept school open. Because he wanted to recognize the students who had given so generously of their time and talents by performing gratis for school, churches, and civic clubs, Mr. Harley searched for a National Honor Society for high school students excelling in musical achievements. But there was no such organization. Consequently, in 1936, Alex Harley started an Honor Society that required its members to display academic scholarship, musical achievement, and service to school, church, and community. The Honor Society attracted attention. Mr. Harley named it Modern Music Masters. Several teachers formed chapters in other schools. In 1954, the National Music Education Organization, MENC, took it over and named it TRIM to represent the three M's in modern music masters. Audrey, our chapter treasurer, will define criteria for TRIM membership. Music students selected for our chapter of the TRIM Music Honor Society are strong in musical and academic scholarship, character, leadership, and service.
Musical scholarship is represented by achieving a score of 92 or better in level 5 or 6, with no more than two points deducted on sight reading, at the Nisma Solo Festival, held last spring. Students must perform for full credit in the previous and current year in a PMHS ensemble, such as orchestra, band, or chorus, and maintain a grade of 90 or better in the ensemble. The ensemble director will recommend a candidate based on their attendance and performance in the ensemble. Academic scholarship is represented by achieving a minimum GPA of 85. In addition to these achievements, students possess open-mindedness towards knowledge and truth. Character emphasizes a devotion to high ideals and recognizes no barriers between people of diverse backgrounds. Leadership guides us to greater undertakings, and service encourages assistance and kindness to others. Malia, our secretary historian, will now describe the meaning of the name Triam for our candidates. As Oliver explained, the name Trium derives from the original name of our honor society, Modern Music Masters. The first letter M signifies modern. That which is new in any age is called modern. It is only when looking back that descriptions such as old, classical, or romantic are given to those art forms that had previously been accepted as modern. The second letter M signifies music. According to the Random House Dictionary of the English Language, music is the art of sound that expresses ideas and emotions in significant forms through the elements of rhythm, melody, harmony, and color. Music was present even before there was written language, and from that time to the present, it has been a source of communication. Music is the universal language. The third letter M signifies masters. In the arts, the custom has been to give the title of master to those who have achieved a high degree of proficiency. Evidence of Triumph's meaning in Pelham lies with our membership. We help other students with their musical development, raise scholarship funds for music study, help charities, and perform for and boost the morale of the elderly and the needy. It is a privilege and an honor to help the community musically. Congratulations to all the new and continuing Triumph members. You are joining a prestigious force of musical ambassadors in the schools. We give Triumph meaning. Anne, our chapter president, would like to speak to you. Candidates, you have met the criteria as a TRIUM candidate for student membership. As masters, you now have increased your opportunities to serve your school and community. A member of the TRIUM Music Honor Society is one who sets a good example, is always willing to assist those students who are striving to better themselves in the music department, and consistently remembers that real honor brings responsibility. May you accept this honor of membership and the responsibility now vested in you, and wear your pin emblem with pride. Oliver, please explain the meaning of the Tri-M membership emblem. I would like to refer you to the picture of our emblem. The Tri-M emblem symbolizes the function and purpose of this honor society. The music staff, the lyre, and the scroll represent the members' proficiency and service in the field of music. The triplet uh, figure in the form of an M symbolizes the three M's in the name Modern Music Masters from which the society's name derives. Thank you, Oliver. We are fortunate to have as guest speaker, Ms. Anissa Arnold. Ms. Arnold has been active in music education since 1992 and is currently the Director of Fine and Performing Arts in the Herrick School District. At Herrick's, Anissa taught orchestra in the high school and middle school. Since 2002, she has been the advisor of a very active Herrick's Triam Music Honor Society. Herrick's Triam chapters were named International Chapter of the Year several times and were participants in all Eastern and National Conferences. Ms. Arnold established the first Long Island student chapter of ASTA, ASTA meaning American String Teachers Association, and maintained an active chapter of the International Thespian Society. She recently served as president of Nassau County's numerous music education associations. She also served as NISMA Zone Rep and Triumph State and Eastern Division Chairperson. Anissa is currently the New York State Chair of Triumph. While holding these positions, she developed many new and exciting programs for the music students and music educators in the county. Currently, Ms. Arnold is the Executive Liaison at the Metropolitan Youth Orchestra of New York. She is former conductor of the Metropolitan Youth Orchestra Nassau String Ensemble. A Long Island native, Ms. Arnold graduated from the Crane School of Music with a bachelor's degree 
in music education with a concentration in viola, followed by a master's in music from Stony Brook, and a degree in administration and supervision from Queens College. We welcome Ms. Arnold to our ceremony. Good evening. I'm honored and touched by the opportunity to speak with you at this induction event this evening. First, a very little bit about myself. My name is Anissa Arnold, and I'm the Director of Fine and Performing Arts in the Herrick School District here in Nassau County on Long Island. However, I take just as much pride, if not more, in my position of New York State Tri-M Chair. Previously to this, I've also been the Eastern Division Tri-M Chair. I have been the advisor of the Herrick's High School Tri-M Chapter for over 20 years. During that time, our school has not only been recognized as Chapter of the Year many, many times, but we've also been able to celebrate musical achievements throughout our school community. Tri-M is very, very near and dear to my heart, and to me, one of the most important things that I do. But today, I want to share a few thoughts with you. First, I want to say thank you. Thank you for your hard work and dedication to music in your school and your community. Thank you for loving music so much and making it such an important part of your life. Thank you to your faculty advisor, Mrs. Zanke, for your commitment to the organization and for bringing music to the forefront in your school. Thank you to the Pelham High School administration and community for embracing all that our musicians do. Next, I'd like to talk about leadership and what you can do as students to continue to grow your Triumph chapter. You, the students, are the key. Use this opportunity to try new things, brainstorm new ideas, and find creative ways to share your music. Mrs. Zanke is your sounding board and your facilitator, but you are the catalyst. Whether you're a board member or a brand new initiate, your ideas and willingness to share your music through various means. Always be willing to share. Often, a simple idea or thought could turn into a great opportunity. For example, in 2004, I was speaking with some 10th graders in my school in between classes, and one just blurted out, if there can be American Idol, why can't we have Herrick's Idol? They were laughing, but I looked at them and said, hmm, why not? Let's just do it. So now, here we are in 2022. We are about to cast our 18th season right now. This event is a fundraiser for school music programs in need, where we make a sizable donation each year. So the point is, never be afraid to share ideas as you never know where they can lead. Every idea is worth sharing and really can be something special. Embrace this opportunity to be a leader. You are all role models, not only in your high school, but throughout your school district. Your elementary students look up to you. Your middle school students can't wait to be you. I have no doubt that younger musicians in your elementary schools can't wait to be in Triumph when they get bigger because of the example that you are setting at the high school. Through leadership and experience in Triumph, you will learn not only to be a leader, but a listener and a change agent. What you do as a musician is very special and powerful. Over the years, many Triumph alumni that I've worked with have gone on to do many great things in the world. One of our former presidents is a doctor, lawyer, teachers. One of them works for the UN. We have professional musicians, Broadway actors, scientists, and the list goes on. We also have music educators, many of them as well. But the one thing they all have in common is their time in Triumph and how it gave them the tools that they use in whatever profession they now chose to do and how performing music gave them the sensitivity and discipline to be so successful in any endeavor. Over the last two years, music became a savior and salvation for so many throughout the world. Keep spreading music and joy however you can. Here at Herricks, we started porch music. We submitted performances every day that we share with the community. I'm sure you've done things too to keep music alive in your community. Keep doing that. Remember, small ideas can bring great rewards. Keep making a difference through music. It is the best reward ever. Thank you very much and all the best luck to you in your future. And thank you for being part of Triumph and cultivating music in the Pelham School District. Have a wonderful evening. Thank you again.
Candidates, under normal circumstances, you would be here and we would recite the Trium Pledge together. Wherever you are, please repeat each line of the pledge after me. We, the members of the Pelham Memorial High School Music Department, in order to foster a greater continued interest and desire for excellence in music performance, to encourage appreciation and awareness in listening to music, to promote wider opportunities for sharing joy through music, both within our school and within our community, to advance the spirit of good music and musical knowledge, and to enhance the reputation of our school as a center for musical enrichment. Accept the honor now granted to us.
Thank you, Ben. The following candidates for membership have qualified to become new members of the Tri-M Music Honor Society. Irene Basu, Amelia Desmarais, Bruno Hochberg, Austin Kelly, Matthew Michaeloff, Kezia Ranger, Alexander Princess, Adida Roy, Leah Serbanski, Samuel Wallach, and Graham Ewan. To our new members of the Chapter 1781 of the Palo Memorial High School Tri-M Music Honor Society, congratulations and welcome. Next, we acknowledge our continuing members for their dedicated service and for upholding the standards and ideals of the Tri-M Music Honor Society. These students have successfully participated in every possible Nisma Solo Festival every year they have been in Tri-M. They have also maintained their GPA average as required. Their leadership and service have been outstanding. It gives me a great pleasure to announce the continuing members of our chapter. Our students continuing their membership for two years are Shreyas Basavatia, Sophia De Marais, Emma Kuntz, Allison Lang, Audrey Levinson, Juliana Liegi, Emma Van Prague, and Elizabeth Susan. Our continuing members for three years are Oliver Tam, Eleanor O'Sullivan, Caitlin Winston, Catherine Lang, and Catherine Scott. I am pleased to recognize our four students who have met all qualifications for membership every year since 2018. Benjamin Levine, Anne Liu, Malia McClellan, Mark Tarazi. Congratulations to all continuing student members of Chapter 1781. You have supported the ideals and aspirations of the Tri-M Music Honor Society through your continued community service and participation in solo and ensemble performance at Pelham Memorial High School and in our community. Mr. Berkowitz will read the congratulatory message from the Tri-M Music Honor Society National Leadership. Inductees, congratulations on your induction into the Tri-M Music Honor Society. Your nomination for membership is based on your musicianship, academic qualifications, and demonstrated leadership. You should take great pride in this achievement, which unites you with thousands of other student members throughout the world. As you're instructed during the presentation ceremony, we should study the past to effectively prepare for our future. With that thought in mind, you are now in the unique position of being able to pass on the torch of your musical knowledge to colleagues and to other members and beneficiaries of the musical arts. May you wear your Tri-M pin with pride and dignity as you continue to demonstrate the value of music in your life and share your gift with your school and community. Welcome to the Tri-M family and congratulations. We thank Ms. Arnold for sharing her experience with us and being part of our ceremony tonight. Mr. Berkowitz, we are grateful that you support our chapter of Tri-M. By having a music honor society in our school, you give us the opportunity to serve our community through music performance and pedagogy. Dr. Zanke, thank you for starting and advising our chapter of Trium ever since 2010. Every day in music programs across the United States, music educators dedicate themselves to reaching all students with life-changing musical experiences. What parents, administrators, and the wider community have not always had the opportunity to observe, however, is the months of practice and rehearsals and the process of learning that takes place in the music classroom. On behalf of this chapter of Tri-Am, I thank all of my music colleagues, Maria Apeshaus, Marsha Bean, Andrew Dolgan, Eric Katz, Rami Vamos, and Andrew Von Bokov for inspiring students throughout the district. We also thank our administrators for supporting music education in our schools. I thank the students who performed in the ceremony and thank you parents and guests for viewing it. Our final performance to celebrate our students is performed by Catherine and Allison Lang. I hope you enjoy their performance of the flower duet. <laughs> 